Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can start full IT training for free. But remember, when we talk about free training, we're not talking about some basic fundamental training. We're talking about full IT support skills training where it can prepare you for a job like this, IT support, entry level, desktop support, help desk. Now, whenever we mention this free word, remember that when it comes to labs, you have to use your own home computer. And what I mean by that is that you should have at least 16 GB RAM and enough resources to be able to replicate what we do in the free courses. So the question is, if it's so powerful that people can learn and look for jobs, then why would people pay for membership like light or premium members? Remember, when it comes to labs, it's a resource. We have to pay for it. And when people pay for it, they just don't want to take the headache of creating their own labs. They also don't want to take a headache of updated content. They also don't want to take a headache of, let's say, preparing it themselves for certification. So these are just external resources that a lot of our members like to use when they want to become a paid member. But let's just focus on free training today. So what you have to do, click on uh, membership in jobskillshare.org. That's our website. And then scroll down and on the left side, you can see you have a lot of free material available. So go ahead and click on get membership and make sure to fill out the form, give the right email, and then go ahead and click on dashboard or it will automatically take you to the dashboard. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the dashboard. Once you click on my courses, these are all full courses available in your free membership. But you have to use a sequence if you would like to prepare yourself for IT support training. For example, you, your first course is going to be IT Support Fundamentals Part 1, which is a very long course. Then after that, you have to do Part 2. And then after that, you have to take IT Support Active Directory, Office 365, and Tech Skills. In this course, you're going to learn in-demand skills like Active Directory, Office 365, and other technical skills. But even in Part 1 and Part 2, you would have learned a lot of technical skills prior getting to the third course. Then after that, you will basically take a course which is called IT Support People for People Skills for IT Professionals. That is where you're going to learn the soft skills, time management, and other things that are required for this job. And lastly, you are going to take the IT Support Resume Applying for Jobs in Communities. This is where a lot of people do a mistake when they come to us, and usually they will have a mindset hey, I have to finish A plus before I start doing this kind of stuff. It's actually not true. You can do your A plus on the side. You may not even finish A plus. You can just say, I'm going for A plus. But you have to learn skills, whether you get that degree, certification, a paper, whatever it is, and you get a job, you need to do these skills. You have to learn on the fly. You have to learn it from your coworkers. You have to learn it from a platform like ours or anywhere left and right. This is going to be a very immediate thing for you so what you're going to learn over here is what actually job requires and when people finish these courses they feel more confident and most of the people have landed jobs in our platform because they are more confident and that is what 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 is missing when people have just certification but they haven't prepared themselves for interviews or resume or not giving up or self-rejection so we're not going to go into that because we have made a lot of videos on that so we don't want to waste too much time so let's go ahead and click on roadmap so i can show you what sort of roadmap you should be following you as a free member cannot open other roadmaps because it has paid courses so you have to scroll down go all the way down and here is your free IT support training roadmap. You need to click on start the roadmap. I already started it. And on the top, there's going to be another button. You have to click on that button to make sure that your progress is captured. So here you see it's a nice way for you to, let's say if you forget that I can go to my courses, but there's too many courses, you can go to the roadmap, open the free roadmap. And this is the roadmap that you need to finish that I just explained a minute ago. So let's open part one course from here or from my courses. And then I'm going to explain how this course is designed. We're going to go ahead and open it. As you can see, it's a very big course. And I mentioned that our courses are long because we want to teach skills. And that's what's missing for a lot of uh, our members that come with degree or certification, but they can't land a job. 
this is the answer for them that they should finish skills training and then they can add some certification if they already have it's a good thing but here if you look at it the first thing is it training solutions we like to show you what we have in the first video to to make sure that if somebody wants to start this training do they have the option to go for the other training so they will have all three options available premium coaching member and then i want to continue free training this is a very important video if you want to continue our training for free then you should prepare your lab ahead because when you start the technical training you would be using your own home lab and here's a 49 minutes video showing you all what you need to do to create the labs so here on the left side you're going to see career assessment transitioning from it everything from scratch like starting as a student transitioning to it from other professions what type of it titles are there salaries job environments and then it goes into the core it learning like what is network and then we're going to get into what makes a network and after that operating systems modules dispartition getting into more tiny money things but of course these are all real world uh, exercises so if you look, click on it you can see all of this is basically exercises and there are some lectures as well and once you finish the first part one course you're going to feel technical enough and part two you're going to feel even more technical third course you're totally ready for the it support job the last two courses you need to focus on two things one you can become very technical but if you're not good at uh telling the story like tell me about yourself or uh giving answers in interview then you're gonna have a uh, hard time getting the jobs and that's where a lot of people do this mistake where they go into technical uh you know in their home labs and they feel like they're ready for the job but then when people ask them questions they're unable to explain what they have learned in the labs unable to show the resume so here you're going to download the resume for free the, this type of resume have been used for years and years and people have been uh, very successful last and final tip if you want to be successful with this free membership or any jss type of training we have created these training for fixing problems and the problems are that people are too fast to finish their courses they're too fast to get uh, certifications and then they complain about that they're not getting jobs that's because they're not downloading the right resume they're not applying aggressively they're not applying to the right description right titles because somebody have to really give you the information of what are you looking for after your a plus certification or what you should be looking for your first it degree but you're going to get into the it so what you should be looking at and then there are wish lists there are things that they're uh, not true for example in most uh, a description you may see comptia a plus preferred or something preferred that doesn't mean you have to not apply uh, we basically call this term self-rejection so there's a lot of this going on for 10 years and we've been doing this with our members that have been greatly successful in getting the jobs so you really also have to work on the mindset that something that you have not experienced you cannot make that as a red flag for you that you don't have this so you don't you are not going to apply if you don't apply you got zero percent chances if you apply you have 50 percent chances and that's why the last course is super important and in our courses you just cannot skip things even if you want to fast forward it make the video fast forward meaning the video speed but do not skip anything because then this is also going to be a failure at the end. Thank you and wish you all the best.